Um, excuse me. Uh, Mr. Schwartz? Um. What? Oh. Hi, this is Saya. Hey, I'm Harry. Uh, um, we're you. supposed to be interviewing you about, uh, Bioshock. Bioshock, yeah, but yes. Oh, it's playing could we, a few seconds ago. Could we start the interview? Yes, of course. Okay. Okay, so Bioshock is the game of the year for 2007. You beat out um, Call of Duty 4 and um, Halo 3. Um, also, it's been very popular. Um, so, it seems what we've been hearing is that this is your new obsession, Leon. Is that true? Obsession? No, it's a lifestyle. You were telling me that Bioshock is a lifestyle. You live for Bioshock? I live for Bioshock. You don't understand. This game is so good. It should be like the next Star Wars or Star Trek. You know, I am a. You know how there's like Star Trek game with like a. Yeah. I mean. Yep. You know what I'm talking yep. about. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm a Bioshockian. You know, that's what I am. Really? Yes. Okay, so if you live for Bioshock, then the next question would be about how many hours per day do you play not just Xbox or video games, but Bioshock? So how many hours a day do you play Bioshock? Well, I play originally for like 72 hours, and uh, just, yeah, 72 hours a day. You know? But, uh, Mr. Schwartz, there's only 24 hours in a day. Well, you, see, you don't understand. Um, a gamer's life, it, it consists of one day as in 48 hours. So but that's still not a day. Day's 24. Well, you don't understand. It's just, that, that's how stuff happens in this world, you know? It's just... I know it sounds weird to you, but you're obviously not an avid gamer. Okay, so the next question would be, um, what do you find most appealing about the game? Well, I guess I have to say the big daddies. You know, they're they're really they're really cool. They're they're, they're difficult, but not too difficult. You know what I'm saying? So, which of the three big daddies would be your favorite? Well, there's only two, you know. <laughs> Haven't you downloaded the patch to unlock the third there's big There's a big patch? Big... No, I'm just kidding. Dude, don't even mess around like that. When you mess around like Bioshock, that is just not cool. Okay, um, now we've heard that you, your favorite character is uh, Jasmine Jolene, or more of an obsession, you might like call it, uh, Jasmine Jolene character in Bioshock, who was, um, uh, let's say... You know, raped by Andrew Ryan and then murdered by her. But you have an obsession with her, so let's talk about that. So, well, you know, she's... Jasmine, you know, it's cool and all, but... You know, I really like her. I think she's she's got some talent. She she would make... It would make more sense in this damn game. I mean, like, I know it, it does make sense, but, you know... You know, it's just... You gotta understand, you know, there's a lot of stuff in this world. And with her involved, I just think it would be a thousand times better. It would just... It make it would give like it's a female touch, you know. It, it's nice. It's understandable, and that and all. She has a really nice rap. <laughs> don't don't laugh. Just because she's not real doesn't mean I can't love her. Okay, um, 2K Games, uh, the creators of Bioshock, um, they would like to meet you. Are you serious? I wasn't done. I was saying they would like to meet you if they knew you, probably. Of course they would like to meet me. It's so amazing. Okay, now let's do a little thinking here. If you were Jack, the main character, and you were in his shoes, and you're playing Crash in the Atlantic, and you had to come across Rapture, instead of going through, or not instead of, but what would you do if you were stuck in Rapture? Well, I guess I have to say, I would use the toilets and go straight to the bathroom and just, like, you know, check that place out and use every single thing that happened there. Why? They're disgusting. Well, you don't understand. See, they don't use the toilets in Rapture because, you know, I, I tried doing it. It says, it says use, but you don't really use them. It just, it just turns them on and flushes the toilet. I'm going to actually drop a deuce in one of them. It's going to be good. Alright, so what was your the most exciting part of the game, or your favorite part of the game? Well, my favorite part of the game, well, I love everything about this game. But the one thing that I don't like is the newspapers. The newspapers? Yes, the newspapers. If you read all the newspapers, they say the same thing. Well, you can't expect 2K games to go through and... Well, you gotta understand. You gotta understand. 
for gamers like me, you observe everything. You know, every little nook, every little cranny. I've unlocked every single thing. Every achievement on here. And now, let me just tell you one thing. The newspapers, they gotta go. Um, are you excited for Bioshock 2, and what are your expectations? Well, I gotta admit, I just, I'm so flippin' excited, I gotta just say that, first right out there. And what I'm anticipating is, uh, the newspapers be a little bit more interesting than what they are normally, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it, it's boring, you know? It's, it's just stupid and boring, and it, it, it says the same thing! Okay, now, um, the Bioshock movie is in the works, um, and you're probably excited for it, um, so we would just like to know, like, who do you want to play, um, Jack, the main character, who do you want to play, uh, Atlas, who do you want to play Andrew Ryan, and who would you like to play the Big Daddies? Heck yes, I'm excited, oh my god, I just gotta admit, like, you know, it's so cool, I, I can't wait, and just to tell you, I believe that Jack needs to be played by Bonnie Hunt. Bonnie Hunt? Bonnie Hunt's a woman. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So she's a woman. Have you seen her in Cheaper by a Dozen? Yes. She yeah. played a single mother, or she played a mother of 12 children. Yeah. What is that? It has children. absolutely nothing to do with I the, char think she the can character handle, of Bioshock. I think she can handle a couple of splicers. She handles 12 little bratty-ass children. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. This is the ge I'm a genius. You know what I'm saying? I'm a super fan. Right, what, about, what about Atlas? Atlas? Okay, Atlas needs to be played by Bono, by YouTube. Bono from YouTube? Yeah. Well, YouTube. Why? Bono's a, not an actor. He's he a is, he, so what? He's an amazing singer, and he's also a douchebag, just like Alice. Bono is not a... Okay, he's with the age shit and all that other stuff. It doesn't matter what he does, okay? You understand? Whatever. Bono, no matter how much good stuff he does, he always comes out to look like a douchebag. It doesn't matter. Just all right, like all right, all right, all right. What about the creator of Rapture, Andrew Ryan? Who should play him? Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is not even not even an aged man. And it doesn't matter, what? dude. Have you ever heard of them? It's called makeup. You know those guys. They're really good. But Andrew, but why why Tom Cruise though? There's He's so crazy, many. Crazy, just like Andrew Ryan. What about? Uh, He's insane. Have you seen Oprah? Did you see Oprah? What about the Big Daddies? Big Daddies. It's gonna be good. All those guys out in Youtubeville. I mean, land whatever. It's gonna be uh, John Goodman. John Goodman. That's not even funny. John That's Goodman. rude. That is amazing. No, John Goodman's a great him? actor. Yes, I know. Have you seen him in Roseanne? That was that was great acting. Roseanne. Perfect. Yeah. In in Monster Inc. Too. But he supplied a voice. He wasn't even in it. It doesn't matter. So what? Have you heard his voice? You know, he'd be perfect for doing all the big daddy voices. You know, it's when they go. It's great. Okay. Well. What well, anyway? Anyways. Um, last question. Um, are you gay? Absolutely not! Are you serious? No, I am still not gay. I love the women. I do everything for the ladies. That's very funny because we do have a picture of you, um, when I came in to start the interview, and it was very scandalous, may I add. Where the hell did you find that photo? It's great.